Alright guys, so I'm going to just do the ones that I'm sure of um, and then reserve judgment on what I think the rest are going to be until I see them out of the out of the egg. I'm going to point out something that's really funky to me that um, every single one of these babies are, are showing signs of but uh, we'll just get with it. This is a black pastel. This is the one that I thought may be a normal Let me get it focused real quick. You can just tell in it it's a black pastel. Look at the look at this one. You see how it's like got that going on with it? Definitely. This one's not hard to tell. <laughs> this one is a really good uh, example of it. And I mean it's super orange. Seriously, seriously orange. If you look at the everything in it, it's crazy orange. This camera isn't even doing it justice with how much orange is within the, the black pastel. That is a coral glow. I'm thinking just a single gene. This one is the one that me and Chris are really liking. Pastel something. Coral glow. Pastel coral glow. Pastel Coral Glow. Now if you notice on every single one of them, they have these drooping, like crazy drooping. Now I know that's possible with a lot of um, genes, but drooping, drooping, again, drooping. There's something going on with every single one of these snakes that's very similar um, as far as pattern goes. I think that's what's, that was what was throwing me off so much. I certainly at least have a dual sired clutch here. I mean, my coral glow is obviously not black pastel. He's only pastel. So, maybe he, maybe, I don't know. I highly doubt that he is a black pastel pastel coral glow. I think um, he is just a pastel coral glow, and I think the black pastel got a hold of this as well. I'm going to definitely pair each one of these males to their own female and be uh, pretty specific about it next next season but regardless we're happy with this um, sorry I'm shaking so much I'm trying to hold it with one hand but obviously a black pastel black pastel not as obvious as the other one but it, it you can tell I looked up and, it, and I mean a lot of people are saying it's not possible for two different males to inseminate one egg so I'm just going to go with that but this one has the colors of a black pastel coral glow so does this one like when you're starting to really look at them they got a lot of purples and a lot of orange but apparently that can't happen so I'm just gonna move on that one's just funky pastel they have like a cinnamon pattern to them it's so weird I don't know what to think of these I just think they're really really cool like I said they're not quite out yet still got a little bit of yolk in this one more so than the rest the rest are pretty much done absorbing they'll be out in the next day or two but they all look real good I'm real happy with them Funky pattern though, right guys? Like, what the heck? Just funky patterns. This one's gonna be so sweet. I can't wait to get really good videos of this one. The colors on it are just crazy. Same with this one. This one's really, really, really just blaring. Blaring orange and purple. Just blaring orange and purple. And these are more doled out. You can see it in them. But yeah, appreciate you guys watching. Just wanted to do a quick video because, you know, there's been a lot of, um, I wasn't too, I was pretty indecisive for, for good reason. I mean, when you look at this, for doing a Who's Your Daddy, it's it's a pretty wide spectrum of, um, of baby ball pythons to be looking at. Like, this one don't look like none of the other ones. Got a real, really, really, really light head. It's funky.
I'm gonna put them back in the incubator. Let them have a little bit longer time. I'm not gonna mess with them again until they're out and moving around, and then I'll do an update video once I rinse them off and stuff, and then I'll do an after shed video. But yeah, appreciate you guys watching. And we'll catch you here in a little bit. Y'all take it easy.